What actually is statistical testing? Well, statistical testing doesn't mean the test I give you to figure out if you know statistics. Spoilers, I'm not actually going to give you a statistics test. But what it is, is a way of looking at statistics and testing them to see what they tell us, right? Testing a proposition or a hypothesis using statistical measures. Right? This is kind of fundamental to what we do when we're doing statistical research. We want to figure out, is something different from something else? Is there an association and how sure are we that this association matters? You could roughly divide these kinds of tests into two categories. Right? The first thing is when you're dealing with descriptive statistics, one of the things you want to test is how does um, the mean of one group differ from the mean of another group, or how does the range of one group differ from another group? And so these are tests that tell you, is X different from Y? Is it meaningfully different, right? Um, those are often called tests of significance, right? Um, and you run tests of significance on basically everything. Um, so test, these kinds of tests allow you to say, is this population differ from that, different from that population? The other kind of test is a test of do these things go together, right? Is there an association we can track? I talked about association statistics, measures of association in uh, the big lecture, right? And so looking at kind of trends of association, right? And being able to say, is this association real? Should we trust it? Is it just an artifact of the data or is it chance? This is really what running these statistical tests is able to do, is able to help you differentiate randomness from patterns. Because when you're doing statistical research, what you're really looking for is patterns and to have some kind of confidence that your patterns have something meaningful behind them. So in this unit, you're going to be looking at some different ways that researchers make these sorts of tests and how they know if they're real. There's a little bit of math involved in this, do not worry, this is nothing that isn't high school algebra. And realistically, once you're doing this in any kind of big way in a data set, you actually use a computer to do it. What's important is to understand the principles and the frameworks behind this in order to get a sense of how and why these tests work.